this is the Morning Sun Princess, and well, she's um, our third one to the collector's edition for the um, Princess Barbie collection. The Celestial Princess collection. The Celestial um, Princess collection. Anyway, um, we're about to unbox her, and she is beautiful. She, I think she might be my princess, my favorite princess. Um, yeah, we are going to start opening her. And then keep it rolling. So she's the ruler of the shining sun. Sun. She brings daylight to everyone. She washes the meadows with golden rays and warms the earth and lights up the days. Look for her at her just at dawn and she'll bring your world all day long that is her quote apparently and we have the evening star princess and the midnight moon princess so we're opening her and it's interesting because they are so well packaged because they're um I don't collectors think they're, they're collectors and they're they're special too and so here's the back. It says a two-year limited warranty. But it was made in 2000, so it's not 2002. It's void. <laughs> Definitely void. Yeah. Because it's 2013. We or er, 17. <laughs> not 13. I'm four years off apparently. Um. So. Oh, always ask adult for parental supervision when working with soft, sharp objects. Like that knife. It's an, actually an aerial knife. It's very pretty. Um, it says the company that made it, right? Mattel. Mattel, yes. And so, yeah, it's. So, we're going to show them the certificate of authenticity. Oh, I was. So, there's the Morning Sun Prince Princess. It says certificate of authority. Authenticity. Authenticity. I didn't read that. The certificate. The certifies. The certifies that your beautiful Morning Sun Princess Barbie doll was created through collaborative efforts and des of designers and artists at Mattel as a special tribute to the universe. Oh my goodness, Mom. We don't Jillian. want to that, but here's the back of the box. Here's the back of the box. Um, that's very well packaged, as you can see. Uh, and many twist-offs. Some Yeah, twist-offs are really good. Um, also, we have some of her hair poking through so that it can just keep her inside the box thoroughly um and we just we're untwisting these ties yep because that's how annoying they are we are releasing this beauty after 17 years being trapped as a slave it's almost it's like a true princess story if you think about it <laughs> i know but except it's like a barbie princess story it is a barbie princess story i'm freeing her so there's a sneak peek um we're gonna we're, we might do it video in a few years about um <laughs> it's not gonna be a few years well, we'll just need time to actually work on it yeah and right now that's not something that we have unfortunately yeah i only have like two minutes two more minutes ten more minutes so. mm, yeah so, so we have to i know but we have I'm, to hurry with this video i know <laughs> i'm cutting the threads so that we can release her I almost thought you were cutting her hair. No. No cutting of her hair ever. Yeah, because her hair is too pretty. I love the length. We're going to have to take good care of it, which basically means leave it alone. Well, the hair. Yes, I mean, like, if you really have to, like, condition wash it once, that's fine. But, I mean, for the most part, just leave it alone. Yeah. That's how you take good care of your Barbies, unfortunately. I mean, like, you can still use the doll, but you just have to be careful. And you have to be smart about what you do. Because Barbie's a little diva and you need to take care of her. I don't think he's just talking to me. I think he's talking to anyone with a collector's doll. You yes. have to be careful. Oh. <laughs> Don't do as I do. That was not the right decision. <laughs> uh, but it's okay. I know how to take good care of this hair. So I, even if anything is looking disarray, I will find a way to make it work. Can we get a good view without the plastic on? Oh, like, just yeah. 
So there she is out. Well, she's not completely out. Oh my god. Is it just me or does she look so much more shiny out of the box? Yeah. Oh, get a zoom in, in that face up. That is such pretty makeup. Oh, I would love to wear that for like a New Year's Eve. I know, I know, seriously. Oh, and that coral lip. I know, I was thinking about that. Oh, it's so beautiful. She almost looks like Lady Liberty with that headdress. And but it's really beautiful. Like gold. And it's right. Green. So let's get back to unpackaging. That is um, very, um, I don't know what to call it. Moment. <laughs> Uh, sidetrack. No, well, yeah, it was a sidetrack, but it was also a noticing moment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were just in awe of her beauty. Oh my goodness. All of the dolls. Oh, look how long her hair is. Oh, get that on film. Oh my god, look how long this hair is. Oh, I might have to run it through a low heat flat iron, but look. Oh my god. I am. Oh. What? Honestly. The thing about it was I was not as thrilled about this doll as I was all of the other ones that I've received lately. But, oh, after I saw this hair, I just absolutely just fell in love. Oh, oh. oh. Look how long it is. That's going to look so beautiful when we have her on the stand. Oh, my goodness. We like, need to get her out in fast. Okay. You didn't look <laughs> at the picture on the box. I mean... Yeah, we did. That's what we were zoomed in on when you were reading that. Oh, yeah. But you didn't look like the hair. Oh, the hair. Well, I mean... Your hair's The hair is not nearly as noticeable there. It's very... Hair's in the way. <laughs> oh. Almost. It's almost. What a beautiful knife. <laughs> it is a really pretty knife, but I don't think it's, it's the right thing. It's actually the same thing, though. Like, it's the same like, brand. You have to be careful. Please okay. do not use knives. Please have an adult help you if you have to ever unbox a doll. Do you know what? I'm getting scissors. This is going to be way more safe. Yeah, you're safety so first. I mean, isn't she beautiful? I mean, I mean, they're all really beautiful in their own way, but this one makes me just as excited about this one as I do the others. I mean, did you see her dress? I mean, it, it like shines if you have the right light on it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like the sun. <laughs> oh my gosh, this packaging. Do you know what? I'm sorry, Barbie. I'm just going to rip it out. There we go. It doesn't hurt at all. Well, oh, and it popped it out from the holes in her head. That's awesome. That's great. Less it work for it, me. It, oh, it her cuff fell off. Her, oh, it's okay. We can just put that on. Yeah. There's always something loose on those dolls. And then, in this situation, the knife is a better option to cut these little threads because it's less room for a piece of fabric to get snitched. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, those, like, come out? Oh, so they don't have to be... Oh, oh wait a minute. Did one, did one break? Oh, okay. The... Well, I kind of like it, though. But I'm... Oh, maybe you can just stick under her collar. I mean, I mean, I'm sure. Oh, she's barefoot too. That's cool. So we don't. No, have to worry she about does. Her. She isn't barefoot. Her oh. shoes are in a little baggie. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Let's take a look at these. I need to use both hands. Mm. These yeah. are her shoes. It's they are beautiful. They are gold. Um. You're welcome. Let me just put on shoes really quick. And see, I look. Will be right there. So they're obviously high heels. I mean, most Barbies have high heels, and that's weird, isn't it? Um, they're pointy to them, but they also have a high rise, which is really nice. They're almost like stilettos, but like they're almost like um, they're almost like um, stilettos. So, um, we, <laughs> it's almost like stilettos, but they're, they're almost, they're, what's the word? They're short, but they have like the skinny rise. Um, but do you want to see what she looks like, um, out of the box? I'll just get her.